basic comment is that those who believe in John 3.16 are real Christians. Adolf Hitler believed in John 3.16. Jeffrey Dahmer believed in John 3.16. Those who participated in the transatlantic slave trade and held slaves in the Americas and throughout Europe and Africa believed in John 3.16. Those who were colonizing Africa believed in John 3.16. Those who were destroying the Indian people uh, with the beginning, beginning with the East Indian British Tea Company, they believed in John 3.16. But a person today who looks at their atrocities would say, those were not real Christians because their behavior did not demonstrate what we would demonstrate as Christians today. Christians today, if they're actual Christians who believe in John 3.16, would abhor slavery, would abhor colonization, and many of, and they would definitely abhor the killing and eating of other people. They would abhor the Holocaust and things of that nature. And so this is why they will go back and say those people weren't real Christians. Doesn't that just mean that real the definition of real Christian just changed depending upon the culture to which you're living in, whether it's today or yesterday or tomorrow, that a hundred years from now, there will be those who are Christians who will look at the laws that you were willing to accept and push as Christians today and claim that you are not a real Christian. And then the other part that really gets my goat are the ones who like to say, hey, you were never a real Christian. You were never filled with the Holy Ghost because the Bible says that once you're filled with the Holy Ghost, that you cannot be separated from it. So when I say that I'm a former Christian or an ex-Christian, you will tell me that there is you cannot be an ex-Christian or former Christian. You never were a Christian because and you never believed because you don't believe now. That would be like saying to me that I am not an ex-husband to someone. Because if I'm an ex-husband, then I never was a husband. But yet I was a husband that since I'm not in the Marine Corps anymore and I got out after nine years that I'm not a former Marine, that I, I can't claim to be a former Marine because that would mean that I've never been a Marine. That's the logic that you have with your Christian ex-Christian thing, that I could have never been a Marine if I call myself a former Marine. I could have never been a husband if I call myself an ex-husband to someone uh, that a person who I, I used to teach IT, but I'm a former tea instructor of, of IT, where I must have never been an instructor of IT if I'm former. Because a person decides that they want to change something in their life doesn't negate the fact of how deeply they believed or followed something when they were in that in their life. That level of judgment is the same level of judgment that I will place upon you. So if you, anyone listening to this, if you are an ex-wife or an ex-husband, then you are never really truly a husband or a wife. That means that you never loved somebody. You, if you were formerly in love with someone, then you really truly never loved them, ever. That's the logic that y'all favor with this idea that you cannot lose your Holy Spirit. You cannot lose being a Christian. That means you never was a Christian. You never had the Holy Spirit. You never was an ex-wife. You never were a wife. You never were a husband. You never were a son-in-law. You never were a daughter-in-law. You never were a stepfather. You never were a stepmother. You failed in that you were fake the entire time that you were saying to this child who was from another parent, that you love them and they and that you care for them and that you would do whatever you can for them but the relationship ended so now you're not that step parent anymore so you never loved them and you lied to that child you traumatized that child because you never truly loved them that other person that you were married to you never actually were married to them you never actually loved them you never actually cared for them you traumatize that person but you go on with that thought process because it makes you feel safe and secure but 
You have a great day. Remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good, <laughs> good journey, good vibrations.